Hi, it's Drew Embry with PNL Technology, and our video tip here is how to share your calendar in Microsoft Outlook. So Microsoft Outlook by default allows anybody in the organization to see what we call your free busy information. So if they go to look at your calendar, they can see if you're free, or if you've got a, ca a calendar appointment scheduled, they'll see that you're busy. A lot of times in our organizations, we want to show a little bit more than that, and we're going to show today how to set that up. So I'm in Microsoft Outlook here, and what I'm going to do is go to my calendar. So I'm going to click down here to the calendar icon, and this takes me to my calendar. What I'm going to do right now is go over here to the right where it says My Calendar, and you see my calendar here, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to select Properties. And this takes me to the properties of my calendar. We're going to click over here to the Permissions tab, and you can see the permissions that are then available. So what I want to do here is I want everybody to be able to see not only if I'm free or if I'm busy, but what I'm doing. So for example, if I don't change this setting, you see here I've got basketball from 7.30 to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning on Saturday. Without changing this setting, people will just be able to see that I'm not available from 7.30 to 10, but they won't be able to see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is take the default permission. So this is the everybody inside the organization inside of our, our company here, and I want to give them full details. So when I click that, it does tell me here that changes I made will apply to all users, and yes, I do want to do that. So now by default, after I save this, everybody in our organization will be able to see that I'm playing basketball from 7.30 to 10 o'clock tomorrow, and they won't, uh, won't just be able to see that I'm not available. So this is pretty helpful for people in your organization. They'll know, you know which clients you're booked with, you know what you're doing, and be able to really be able to work with you a little bit closer. Uh, some people also want to give others the ability to edit their calendar. And a very common use for this is somebody that maybe has an administrative assistant or somebody helps keep their calendar for them. And that's all very easy to do as well. So in this case, I'm going to the, click the Add button. And I'm going to put in Melanie, who is one of our administrative assistants here. And I'm going to edit this setting. So rather than have her be a reviewer, I'm going to make her a publishing editor. And if you look down here, you can see what that means. So she's going to have the ability to write to my calendar, to create items, to create sub-calendars if necessary, and not only to edit items that she created, but really to edit any items on my calendar. So if I wanted to adjust those permissions a little bit, I could, but I trust Melanie. She's a, a fantastic at what she does, so I'm going to give her access to really edit my calendar uh, fully. So now by saving that, everybody in the organization has the ability to see at least what I'm doing, and Melanie has the ability to add, edit, or remove appointments from my calendar. One note I like to point out when people share calendars is occasionally you have a personal appointment that's sensitive and you don't want people to know what you're doing. There is a setting to accomplish that and still give people rights to your calendar. So for example this basketball appointment, I'm going to double click that and this opens up the appointment. You see here the private feature up here. I'm going to go ahead and click that private feature and click save and close. Now you'll notice here on my appointment it's put this little padlock down here in the lower right hand corner. So that shows it's a private appointment, and that will essentially revert it back to, although people can see exactly what I'm doing on any other item on my calendar, that one's just going to show as a private appointment. It's going to show that I'm out of the office and not available. So I hope this helps you share your calendars and increase, increase the collaboration in your office.